What is up guys? Jake here with our next guild scrimmage. Me spectating. Hopefully the lag is a little bit better. I've done a few things, tips and tricks that people have told me to maybe reduce it some. And also apparently uh, Super e Evil Megacorp did a server maintenance that was supposed to help with lag too. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Hope it's at least a little bit better than last time we tried this. Looking at the teams real quick, we've got Ringo, Cruel, and Fortress locked in against Adagio, Catherine, and Taka. So it's going to be an interesting matchup here for sure. All right, getting started. I'm sure that uh, both teams are, are ready for this, going to have some fun. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun doing this. Every night we've got people on that are, that are doing these sort of intra-clan scrimmages, which is, or intra-guild, which you I shouldn't say clan, uh, which just makes it, you know, we're, we're learning together. We're getting better together, and it's not so much pressure like a ranked match or something like that uh, to where you're going to have a lot of, of conflict with it. Um, looking at the teams here, interesting, I'm not, I'm not sure why Adagio on the red team would pick the contract. I'm assuming Adagio is obviously going into the lane, but why would he choose that for his first uh, item? I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out. So going in here, Adagio going to the lane, going to meet up with Ringo, and they are going to have at it and just jostle for position. I would like to start off in the lane because, you know, usually in the jungle, you're not having any real action first. Although right here, looks like Taka and Catherine from the red team are going to come over and steal a little bit of farm from the blue team. They are not coming to the center first, uh, so they're going to pay for that with a little bit of gold. Uh, so they're going to get that and then move on to their own farm there. Back up in the lane, a uh, little bit of poking going on there, back and forth. Uh, Adagio getting a few hits off on Ringo, uh, but for the most part, each staying to their own side. Uh, taking out, getting some of those last hits, getting some of that gold built up. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the jungle as well, but again, most of the time, the early action uh, right there, Cruel and, and Catherine finding, or excuse me, Cruel and Fortress finding out that their farm is missing, uh, so I bet they're a little bit sore about that. Uh, moving back up. Still nothing going on really here, just back and forth. Looks like they're setting up possibly to get a gank, but uh, Adagio not in good position for that at all. Now they've exposed themselves, and he's just going to fall back and get into his defense turret. Uh, no, no, nothing, no action there. Nothing going to happen. Could be a little bit of a skirmish here in the jungle if uh, Taka and Catherine come over in time, but it looks like they're probably not going to meet up. Well, they might here. They're going to uh, move up, maybe work around for a possible gank on Ringo, and he's in a little bit better position here. If Catherine can get that stun off, ooh, he moved back just in time, almost. If that, those minions had not been the way they were there, uh, probably would have seen a gank right there. Uh, but Ringo falls back, uh, gets to the safety, and just starts taking out those minions, getting caught back up. Catherine and Taka being very patient on this, though. They really want this kill, obviously. Uh, so right there, she uses her ability. Uh, I think she used it too soon, though. Did she use that A ability already? Yeah. I think she hit it too soon. She didn't have the speed anymore. Uh, couldn't get the stun, and that is that. So back to farming they go. Uh, down back in the jungle. Going to get their side and just start working their way. It looks like probably Cruel and um, Cruel and Fortress probably returned the favor there, taking their first little uh, set of minions, taking that farm from them, uh, but didn't actually see it go down, so not sure. Uh, still back and forth in the, in the lane, just jostling, taking out those minions. As soon as they get cleared out, one person falls back. No one being overly aggressive. Uh, both of them playing it pretty conservatively. So right here, you see Fortress and Cruel coming up for a possible gank. Uh, Fortress shows his hand maybe a little bit too quick. Adagio sees it and falls back uh, to the safety of his turret. And that is that, oh, we got a little fight going wrong right here, though, as they go back into the jungle on their side. Adagio does come over to help out three on three here. Who's that? Uh, Cruel goes down. Catherine goes down on the red team. Two on two at this point. Taka running back, trying to get a gank here on Ringo. Uh, not sure what happened there. He got sort of behind him and didn't take the shot. Maybe was waiting for an ability to come up. Uh, but right there, looks like Adagio is going to go down. So the blue team getting the best of this one for sure. Uh, right here, going to put some actual damage on the turret, probably even. Uh, Taka should be clearing that wave there. If he doesn't, yeah, he's going to come back up, clear that wave out. They've got a fresh wave coming. If I was Ringo here, I'd probably be putting a little bit of pressure on him uh, to take that out, uh, maybe get a few shots off. But Ringo's, Ringo's taking the opportunity to go back to the house and do a little bit of shopping and heal up a little bit. So right here, Cruel and Fortress coming over, pressing the issue again. Catherine's back in the fight, though. 
Uh, probably not going to end well for the blue team with a fresh Catherine right there. Yep, they take a few licks and then head back to their own jungle. You see a few uh, scout mines being placed there by Catherine. That's very good. Uh, so a little bit of a skirmish at the start. I would say blue team got the best of that one, uh, but not, not terribly eventful. Just a few deaths and everyone's getting back to the grind here at this point. Uh, back in, in the lane, more action. Uh, Dodgio taking a poke or two at Ringo. Uh, his waves are moving in a little bit further here than on the on the blue team side. Possibly get into a little bit of damage on that turret, even up the score a little bit. We'll see how much damage the red one. Uh, no, very, very little. Very little damage on the turret. Uh, right there, Ringo steps on that scout mine, but gets out of it just in time. Uh, right here, the, the, the minion's moving into the turret here, so he's got to get those cleared out of the way to make sure, but look at there, Adagio slipping up and putting another scout mine in there. Very sneaky. Uh, then gets a nice poke right there, a couple of them on him. About half health on Whistle. Wow, he's going to go down if he doesn't get out of there quick. Uh, he's got Adagio hurt as well. Wow, what a little exchange right there. Uh, didn't get anything. Oh, got a fight going down here in the jungle as well. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, looks like uh, Yogg, the fortress goes down really quickly there. I don't know if they caught him shopping and didn't know they were there. Or what but really got some burst damage on fortress and he goes down uh, up in the lane again did did Ringo go down no maybe he just went back to the yeah he just called back uh, after that exchange that he had with the Daggio there it was very close right here they've got the lane all to themselves they could push forward and put a little damage on this turret if they hurried uh, looks like that Catherine, or excuse me, that uh, yeah, Catherine and Taka are falling back though. I would have pushed up right there, got a little damage on that turret. Nobody was around. Ringo just now getting back into the lane has to run up. Uh, so it looks like Adagio will still get a few pokes of her own, but had uh, she had Taka and uh, excuse me, he had Taka and Catherine with him. Obviously, would have got a lot more damage on that. Ooh, right there, very nice timing by the blue team. Uh, Ringo gets the stun off, going to get that ultimate off, probably, yep, going to take Adagio down. Very nice gank there. Fortress came up, got a little poke, got a little damage on him, and Ringo finished the job. Catherine and Taka coming back into the lane, trying to get Fortress taken care of. Ooh, a lot of damage on Cruel right there, too. Looks like the ultimate on from Taka on Cruel almost took him down, but again, no one's got quite enough burst damage at this point to really get a full-blown gank. Uh, you see Taka hiding in the bushes, waiting right here, trying to try to obviously get Ringo if he gets too aggressive, too far out there. Uh, but Ringo goes down to the shop. Uh, so let's see what they, how they react here. He's hiding in the bushes still. They might get a little uh, damage on this turret if they would go for it. Wow, that surprises me. The minions are right there. They could have walked right up to that turret and started beating on it, uh, but none of them did it. Interesting. All right, uh, you see they're down here at the at the shop. Ringo has made his way back to the house, actually. Taka switching sides of the jungle here, maybe trying to get the drop on them. Uh, Catherine is going to bait them out, it looks like, and then Ringo, or excuse me, Taka probably going for the kill here. Yep, right on top of uh, Cruel. Gets a lot of damage on it, but they, get, they return the favor. Cruel stuns Catherine. They're chasing Taka off here. Uh, uses uh, Fortress uses this ultimate right there. They're on Taka hard. He could go down right here if he doesn't get that. Oh man, so that turret saved him. He's going to get out of there with his life, but just barely. And then Adagio able to help push the blue team back into the jungle. So not you know these skirmishes are both teams playing it smart and playing it conservative. No one's being overly aggressive. Uh, red team just getting back to the farm and blue team doing the same. Uh, back into the lane here. No one's really pushing advantage. It looks like Adagio did get a little damage on that turret. Not a lot, uh, but a few shots in on it. Uh, no one's really taking a, a heavy lead. Look, let's look at the gold grab real quick. 5.7 to 4.7 for the blue team. So 1K this early on is actually a pretty hefty lead uh, for the team. You know, they it's not, it's not crucial because they can obviously catch up very easily. But for this point in the game, how early we are, uh, that's a pretty good lead, actually. You have the blue team cycling up, trying to possibly get another gank, but look at that very nice placement of that min uh, scout mine by Adagio, which gives away their position. And so now the red team is cycled up and possibly is going to be the ones to get the gank here. Fortress comes over. Oh, look at that. Scout mine goes off now. Uh, Cruel is in trouble. Uh, Fortress is in trouble. They're both low health. Oh, man, they're going to get back in the safety. They better not press it too hard here, or Taka will come in with that ultimate and take one out. Uh, Adagio goes down. Very nice kill by Whistle on Ringo there. Uh, takes out Adagio, and I guess you would have to say the blue team gets the best of the second team fight as well. So very, very interesting. Uh, Scout Mine right in the middle really puts a hurting on Ringo. He uses his boots, just gets out of the way. Taco was coming up for the kill, but did not get it. Uh, these Scout Mines that the red team are placing are really 
uh, giving them an advantage in these fights. So it's giving them vision, it's putting free damage on them. Oh, wow. Ringo did not know they were there, and they sandwiched him and took him out almost instantly. So nice gank for the red team there. Taka and Catherine working together to take Ringo out. Fortress is coming back up. They're trying to control the lane, make sure that they don't lose anything here. Uh, another scout mine going to go off right on Jog on Fortress there, taking a lot of damage from these scout mines and obviously giving away their position the entire time as well. So Catherine and Adagio that have been laying those scout mines down, really doing a nice job. Fortress lunges out, puts a little damage down on Catherine, but no big deal. Uh, on the way back up, Adagio grabs the minion mine. You look pretty early for a minion mine grab. Well, maybe not. It's nine minutes in. That's probably about right. Uh, so here we are with another team fight right in the middle of the lane. A lot of lane fighting going on. Uh, whistles back in the fight on Ringo there, putting a few shots in on the, on each of them. One on Nadagio, one on Taka. Uh, Fortress overextends a little bit. Could cost him here. We'll see. Oh, and uh, Taka got too aggressive right there. Whistles going to get that kill on Ringo and also going to get Adagio. Man, got two for Oh, and wasted his, wasted his ultimate there. He could have had that for, for Catherine, but still gets the best of the team fight. Uh, every time it seems the blue team is just eking it out. They're very low on life, but just getting away with it. Uh, Whistle putting uh, Ringo putting some more damage on that red team, Catherine. She's going to have to get out of there uh, and just try to clean up what's left of those minion waves. Uh, right there, Ringo goes back to the store. I'm sure trying to spend some more money, get that life healed back up. You see he's going straight weapon damage. Uh, Cruel is also straight weapon damage. So that's a lot of uh, ability for the red team to defend there. All they got to do is buy some armor, and they'll be in pretty good shape. Fortress almost goes down. Taco maybe with just not quite enough burst damage yet. He does have his tension bow and his uh, blazing salvo, but still just not enough damage to take someone out that quickly. Oh, you see Fortress also has an O cart there, giving him a little bit of extra HP. Catherine gets too aggressive, pays for it as Ringo comes back up, takes her out. Uh, this wad of minions here has got to get taken out. Yeah, it's putting a lot of damage on uh, on Fortress there. Gets it all taken care of, and now he's got control of the lane again. But look at those scout mines. Wow, that is just annoying and frustrating. I'm sure as they step on these, he's really not going to like it. Uh, but the red team having to recover here. Just getting built back up. Uh, Ringo's going to get a lot of damage on this turret and possibly even take it out before they recover and get back. They are all three still back at their home base. Yep, no question about it. This turret is going down. Uh, just all of them being back at the same time is going to cost them a turret here. Uh, so Ringo being smart, taking those last hits when he can. But right there, it goes down. That gives the blue team a distinct advantage here. A lot easier for them. To, oh, and scout mine again. I bet he is tired of those scout mines. A lot easier for them to fall back and retreat into safety. Now for the red team, they've got to go so much farther in jungle fights or anything like that to get back to a safe turret. Uh, but the blue team's turret is greatly damaged here, so they could catch up pretty quickly. Right there, ultimate from Taka. Ooh, takes out of Cruel very, very quickly. Just burst him down. What did he add to his arsenal? Not much there. Just got it done. Uh, Fortress trying to defend this turret, uh, but it looks like it is going to go down. The, even the score on that. Uh, so right here, very interesting. This is such a close match at this point. Still, look at the gold grab, though. Blue team, 12.1 to 8.7. They have vastly outfarmed the red team, and that could really, really affect them late game. Right there, you see uh, Fortress goes down to Taka, but Taka pays for it with his life. Uh, Ringo taking him out, and now it's just the two of them left. Cruel finally getting back in the fight here. Uh, so Adagio is going to have to retreat. Does not want to try Ringo and Cruel two-on-one for sure. A uh, little bit of lag here, but it has been better this time. Hopefully, this catches up pretty quickly. Well, I'm not sure why we're getting such a, a huge lag spike right here, but we did. Uh, we'll see what happened as we all sort of fast forward back together. Uh, Ringo going down into the jungle here for some reason, and talk and Cruel and Adagio probably going to fight it out. I don't think Cruel wants to go toe to toe with Adagio. He can just fight him and poke him to death. Uh, but Ringo down at this. Uh, oh, it went down to the. Uh, what we got down here? A fight. Uh, Catherine and Ringo. Uh, he's just going to kite her and shoot her to death if she continues chasing right here. I don't think she's at the DPS to take him out. Uh, does get the stun off, but still, he's going to way out DPS. Or I think it's a bad decision by Catherine there chasing him down. He does get the kill uh, right there. And also up top, we missed it, but Fortress takes out the red team. Uh, actually, I guess one of his dogs got that kill on Catherine. Uh, got lucky there. Uh, Dagio going back to the store. Could have a fight down here in the bottom. Oh, if Taka only knew how low health uh, Ringo was right there, would have went in and easily got that kill. Uh, still, Ringo needs to be very, very careful here. He's going to take him out real quickly if he's not right there. Gets a stun off, possibly. No. Yeah, that was just a little bit too aggressive by Ringo. 
Uh, you can't just run up on a fresh Taka like that. He has a lot of burst damage, uh, so takes him out. And he also is going a little bit of crystal power at this point, probably going for Aftershock or something like that, just to increase his burst damage. Fortress is going to try to grab this minion mine. I think it's going to get it done, but could pay for it here. A little bit of lag there again. Uh, Taka trying to wrap around and, and cut him off. Uh, got a pretty good fight here going ultimate use by, by Cruel there. Uh, ooh, a lot of damage on Cruel. Let's see what happens. Oh, takes him out. Cruel's down. Uh, Fortress is probably going to be not far behind at this point. Uh, three on one. He is not looking good. He's trying to get that kill on Taka and does get the kill, but obviously after that, there's nowhere for him to go, nowhere for him to escape. He goes down. Uh, here comes Ringo. Probably not the fight he wants at this point. Gets a scout mine. Yep, he's in trouble here. If he gets that stun off, uses his boots. Uh, might get away with his life there, but almost got in too deep. Uh, looks like he is going to be able to retreat back and stay safe here. Uh, Catherine continue to press on him, though, and he's slowing down, but he sees that Adagio is there. He really wants to get out of here. I'm not sure we started off so well on lag, and now it's getting worse here. We'll see what happens. Oh, they do catch him, and probably, oh, looky there. Cruel coming just in time. Gets that stun off on Catherine. Probably going to be the end of Catherine here. We'll see a scout mine. Ooh, a lot of damage there. Yep, takes it out, and now they're... Focusing on Adagio. We'll see because Taka is <laughs> reinforcing here. Just back and forth as a team, a dead team member comes back and, re and joins the fight. We'll see what happens. He should have targeted Ringo there. He targeted Cruel. Almost got him down, uh, but did not. And now they both sort of retreat back. Uh, Fortress has joined up, but I don't think, I think everybody is sort of like, okay, let's just get regrouped here. A lot of fighting back and forth. Still a massive gold lead for the blue team 16.4 to 11.2. Taka trying to sneak over here, get an easy kill possibly. He gets exposed by a scout trap. Yogg put some damage on him for Fortress. Uh, Cruel coming over, also putting some damage on Adagio. Looks like Adagio is going to go down right here. Uses the ultimate. Yep, Adagio's down. Taka comes in, tries to fight him off. I uh, don't think he's going to get any type of kill here, though. Uh, and they're going to have to run back. Finally, Catherine joins back up. Again, it's always like these two-on-ones, and then the, the dead member sort of rejoins. You see Ringo coming in down here at the bottom trying to flank somebody. Looks like he's just going to hide in the bushes and come around uh, right there. He's got a chance at uh, Taka if he can get targeted on him away from Catherine. Uh-oh, not good. Gets the stun off, and that will be the end of Ringo. So good kill by Catherine and Taka there. Uh, might get another kill here if they're not careful. Right there, a little bit of damage goes down onto Cruel. He's only got a little bit left. We get that ultimate back up. Nope, he's no, got no power. Look at that. Rink or Taka would have had him, had no power left. Right here, he gets a little power. He's trying to find that cruel. He wants to get him taken care of. Goes ahead and puts it down on Fortress. Fortress is going to pay with his life right there. Uh, no question. He's going down as soon as that lag spike ends. Right there. Can they catch cruel? Oh, get the stun off. Yes. Wow. That was an ace right there. The first ace of the game. Ringo's already up, but it was officially an ace. Uh, there were, all three of them were down at once. They grabbed the minion mine. Uh, Probably would have grabbed that. Man, they should have grabbed their farm there, too. I'm not sure why they didn't. They're so far behind on gold. They're going for a crack and kill. Really early on a crack and kill, in my opinion. 17 minutes. Ringo is up. I don't know that he knows they're doing it yet. He better get there quickly. He can probably get last shot. They wouldn't even have vision on him. Uh, there you go. Catherine's coming over now to try to make sure uh, no one's going to take that last shot. But Ringo doesn't even know that they're taking the crack, and I don't believe at this point. Uh, they might have thought the same thing I did, that it's too early to go for it, but it is going to pay off for them. They are going to get the, oh, here comes Fortress. We'll see. Uh, coming in, here's Ringo. Can you get that last shot possibly? Oh, no. The red team does get it. They're going to have a fight right here over it, though. Looks like Catherine's going to go down very quickly, three on one. Yep, she is done. Now they're going to start putting that damage on the Kraken. You see Taka has gone down to the store there. I'm not sure where, oh, I didn't even see where Adagio went down. Must happen in that group fight. Very good job by the blue team because now they can put full attention on this Kraken. You do have Taka to worry about, but if he comes in there, he's probably going to get dealt with three on one. Uh, wouldn't be the best thing for him. I would probably just go steal some farm here. Uh, but he's going to go ahead and try to fight, try to take out Ringo. Ringo retreats wisely, and so does Taka. He doesn't want that fight uh, right there. The Kraken goes down. They did not even get a turret for that Kraken. So honestly, a bad Kraken for the red team just gave the gold team a larger gold advantage. Excuse me, the blue team a larger gold advantage at this point. Uh, 20K to 12.8K, 20.4, That is huge, guys. Really, I mean, look at their builds. Uh, you're talking about the blue team getting near. Let's see, they've got a few end lines to get, but you've got Ringo with Sorrow Blade, Tension Bow, Bone Saw. 
uh, Blazing Salvo. I don't think he's got. Yeah, that's Tornado Trigger. I mean, he's got Ringo's basically full build at this point. Uh, so this could be this could spell trouble for the red team here. Right there, you see what I'm talking about. They get a two on one. Uh, looks like Catherine might get away, but might not here. If Cruel got his ultimate. No, he does not have his ultimate up. But still, right there, I think they're going to get the kill towards the end. We'll see. Catherine's really doing a good job getting away. Adagio helping out. Uh, uses her ultimate right there. Uh, Silent is cruel and runs them off. So saves her friend's life. They're very, very nice. Uh, here's They're coming up. They doesn't really want to fight those two two-on-one, I wouldn't think. And now three-on-one. But here comes Taka. Sneaking into the fight right there. Puts a lot of damage on Cruel. Cruel has to fall back. But look at that. Ringo, I'm telling you. Ringo is like full build right now. He is going to do work on these guys. Right there, another one goes down. Uh, and then that's going to be an ace. Wow. This could be the end of the match here. We'll see what happens, right? Oh, look at that. Ultimate almost got it taken care of, but not quite. They're going to come down, get that minion mine, and then I'm assuming press this turret here. We'll see what they decide to do. Uh, yeah, Ringo already up, dealing with those minion mines all game. I'm sure he's frustrated with those, uh, but he's going to burn through this turret right here. Look how quickly with his build that he's got. He is putting out so much damage right now. Really probably what I would say, look at the stats here, 10-3, yeah, pretty much carrying at this point, uh, just absolutely tearing through this this <laughs> base. Uh, it takes out another turret right here. I think this is probably the end of the game. They are going to get one more fight here because Taka's up, uh, Adagio's up now. They've got a chance, but I think it's going to be too little too late. Again, with the amount of damage uh, Ringo is putting out there, look at that. He is going to take that vein out so quickly. Uh, he's trying to, I would just stick with the vein, man. You had it right there. There is a fight going on, uh, but they are occupying them and he is going to finish the vein off. Game over. Uh, I really, really think the story of this one was the gold farm. Look at that difference. 25,000 to 13.1. That is huge. Uh, on the farming there just did not get it done early game and paid for it late game uh, excellent match to everybody there really enjoyed these I'm glad you guys I, I think you guys like these you did the first one and I think this one's going to be even better because it seemed like there was uh, there was less lag uh, at this point so hopefully it'll be like that in the future and I can continue to bring you guys these matches hope you enjoyed the video until next time Jake doing my best to help you guys suck less